In the latest Fortnite update, Fortnite has secretly added a new performance mode settings for console players. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys exactly how to turn on performance mode for your Xbox and PlayStation. Normally on console, when you break builds, there's a bunch of debris on the screen which almost makes it impossible to see your enemies and is a huge disadvantage if you're playing against any PC player. You can now turn off the debris with this new performance mode settings for console players and you can use this in ranked and even tournaments and has helped me get earnings in the latest solo cash cup. So for PlayStation players, make sure you have two controllers and also two accounts. Load up Fortnite using your main account and main controller. And once you're in the lobby like this, turn on your second controller and sign into your second account. And once you do this, performance mode should be turned on and you shouldn't have any debris when you break any builds. For my Xbox players, all you need is one controller and two accounts. Assign into both accounts and make sure you load up Fortnite using your alt account. Now it'll ask you which account you want to play on and here this is where you want to click your main account and just like that, performance mode should be turned on for your Xbox. The rest of the video is me playing ranked with it, so enjoy that and my updated settings will be at the end of the video. Dead. Peace. Hundred. Let's go. Oh my god. Hundred. Let's go. Go up. Hundred. Dead. Hundred. Peace. Oh. Two hundred. Hundred. Cone. Oh my gosh, how did you almost kill me? 100? Oh my gosh. 200? What is happening? Get away from me. Dead. Dead. Hundred. Hundred. Let's go. Guy's dead. Oh my gosh. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Two hundred. Hundred. Dead. How did I even kill him? 200 100 Oh my god Wait, I'm actually cheating 100 Let's go. Wait, why one? Two hundred. Let's go. Hundred. Dead. Oh my, I didn't even miss a single shot. Hundred. Oh, what the? Dead? What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I couldn't even build. Hundred? Dead. What? 
I swear I'm not cheating. Dead. Cone? 200. What in the world? No! Let's go. Do a little free build. Give me that. Dead. Give me that medallion. Let's go. Too crazy. Hundred? Forty? Where is he? Dead. Oh my gosh. 100? Dead. Let's go. 100? Dead. Oh my. 200. Another guy over here. 100? Dead. Hundred. Let's go. Hundred. What was that play? Oh my! I'm actually cheating. Oh, you're definitely not running. Dead. Two hundred. Hundred. Cone. Dead. Oh my gosh. Hundred. Dead. Oh my, give me that medallion. Let's go. Jumping right into my new updated settings, assuming you did do the performance mode for your console, if you use this graphic combination right here, this is the best to see in Storm and also when you want to chop people out. So have your brightness at 150%, user interface contrast on 1, no colorblind mode, colorblind strength on 10, and motion blur turned off. And for 120 FPS, if you don't have this option, it means your monitor or TV doesn't have over 120 hertz. And if you want a good low delay monitor, mine is down below in the description that you can buy. Now for the audio settings here, the main setting you want to turn on is visualize sound effects. And up here for the volume, make sure you prioritize your main and sound effects volume. This is the footsteps and the gunshots. Mine are both at 66 and 64%. Now for the next page here, a secret tip if you want lower delay on your PC or on your console, so make sure you go all the way down here for the replays and have all three replays turned off. So record replays off, record large team replays off, and record creative replays off. And the reason behind this is having your game save every replay of every game and creative you play adds a lot of delay. So if you have this off, it won't save them at all. Make sure you have low input latency mode turned on. For building here, make sure you have preset building choice on, disable pre-edit option on, and turbo building on if you want lower delay when you build. And then for auto confirm edits, I have edit on release and reset on release on. So this is set at both. It's basically scroll wheel reset on controller. Now 
up here i have auto pickup weapons on this is when you want a 50 50 a chest and if you stand right on top of the guns you will get it every single time and then for preferred item slots this is what i'm using shotgun smg these two are unassigned and then assault rifle in the final slot and then for the movement i have toggle sprint on auto open doors on mantle activation on hold jump and hurdle activation on press jump now for the reticle settings i have reticle ammo indicator off damage numbers on list and then for damage feedback on hits and icons this is why my numbers look like this but if you want the damage numbers to add up themselves, you can put this on cumulative instead of list. And then for damage number scale, this is at 125%. For the HUD scale, mine is at 60% with these options turned on. Now another secret tip, if you don't use your gyro options or your keyboard and mouse settings and binds, make sure these are all turned off and at the lowest number possible. This helps lower the input delay. If you have controller auto run turned on, build immediately builder pro on if you want less delay when you build. For edit hold time, if you want less editing delay, make sure this is at the lowest number possible. For slide hold time, this is preference, but mine is at 0.04. Make sure you don't touch the camera options and have vibration turned off. Now for quick weapon, make sure this is turned off and just use preferred item slots on the third tab. Now for the actual controller settings here, my look sensitivity and aim sensitivity are both at 5.5. My build mode sensitivity is at 2.2 and edit mode sensitivity at 2.3. Make sure you have advanced options turned on. And for your look horizontal and vertical speed, make sure these are both at 43%. And for boost, make sure these are all at zero and then instant boost when building off. This will make you a lot more consistent. Now for the ADS sensitivity here, you guys seen how crazy my aim was with the SMG and AR. Make sure your horizontal speed and vertical speed for ADS are both at 9%, trust me. And then just like the look sensitivity, make sure boost is turned off and at 0% for more consistent aim. Now for look dampening time, if you want less delay when you push your right stick, make sure this is at 0 seconds. Look input curve, make sure this is on linear. Aim is to strength at 100%. And then for both the dead zone, mine are at 1010. Now here are the controller binds. I play on custom controller binds. You guys can pause the video if you need. But I recommend you guys use your own binds, and if you're new to Fortnite, go ahead and try mine out. But make sure you use what is comfortable for your fingers. That is going to be the end of the video. If you guys made it here, make sure you comment down below 380k, and peace.